What's up everyone? Welcome back to another Monster Universal picture, except this time it's not Abbott and Costello. It is going back to the Universal Monster Pictures. We have seen Invisible Man, Frankenstein, The Wolf Man. We have not seen The Mummy, which stars Borlas Karloff, who played Frankenstein. So, very excited to get into this one. Without any further delay, Captain, we are Ego. That's quite unique. The you know the the text is sort of overlaid over uh, the scroll. I think a lot of times, especially in silent films, the text was just as as its own. But in this case, we first get the sort of um, the the miniature sets, and then we get to the scroll. So very effective introduction. Our job is to increase the sum of human knowledge of the past. Not to satisfy our own curiosity. Well, that's all very true, Sir Joseph, but, but after all, we're human. And a find like this, well, how can you wait? This is your first trip. I've been out here ten years, and I'm more curious about that mummy than you are. And even more about that box. Well, there must be a good division. There must be a split division between, you know, the past and knowledge and your own curiosity. Contorted muscles show that he struggled in the bandages. Buried alive. Oh, that's one gruesome way to go out. He was buried alive. And what more if they read the, the, the scroll or these texts? He'll come alive. Death. Eternal punishment. For anyone who opens this casket. In the name of Amon Ra. The king of the gods. Opens this casket, the treasure or the mummy behind them. Well, obviously, I'm assuming this casket. And who knows what would happen, the consequences. Do not touch that casket. Go on with your cataloging. We'll open it later. You needn't think you can persuade me not to examine the most wonderful find of my whole experience out here. That's, this is where the curiosity kicks in. Can't tell a scientist or an archaeological um, researcher, no. Oh, <laughs> the ancient scroll. There is such power within that. In the interest of science, even if I believed in the curse, I'd go on with my work for the museum. Come back with me, and we'll examine this great find together. I cannot do an act of sacrilege with my presence. It was either you respect the gods or you respect ancient culture, or you do it for the museum, whichever one fits you best. Oh, that's so effective, just in that very subtle whisper. And his eyes open, and out of his bondage, out of his slumber, he awakes. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's a laugh mixed with many emotions. You know, fright, curiosity, excitement, scientific wonder. Oh, 
Oof. 11 years later. That's quite a bit of time for a walk to turn into nothing. I think he went crazy. Bored beyond human endurance, messing around in this sand and these rocks. He was laughing when your father found it. He died laughing in a straitjacket. Your father never explained. But when the best excavator England has turned out, a man who loved Egypt, said he'd never come back here, that meant something. And wh- why, then why would they put him in a straitjacket? Why would his father just not... I would, I would assume he cannot disclose to the museum that an active mummy is now alive. So he had to probably, um, you know, say he's, he's psychotic. I found that not 100 yards from where we are. You mean you think her tomb is there? I will show you where to dig. I'm sure it's very good of you, mister. I didn't catch your name. Ardeth Bay. Uh, well, this is me assuming he. part of it is he has to adhere to the culture of not digging. Um, but he also wants a specific person to be dug out, hence using the museum. To do all of that in one day, man, <laughs> they really sh- should get a piece of, you know, the exploration or a Nobel Peace Prize or whatever have you. Pretty sure we're gonna find Sir Boris Karloff here. <laughs> That's exactly what he wanted, probably. I am Artis Bay. Indeed. Why, we have you to thank that we have this exhibit here at all. The museum should be kept open all night in your honor. The irony of both of them meeting. One is a lot younger, one is a lot older. Eleven years. Artis Bay. Where did you disappear to when we opened the tomb? I returned to Cairo. But but now I must not detain you. But I must see you again. You you must come to my house. I regret I am too occupied to accept invitation. That was actually a leading question. Where were you when we opened the tomb? Kind of kind of could be referring to him. It's almost like she's being, um, like, controlled through her mind. You know, one through the other in different spaces, but still being controlled. I must get in. I must. Closed for the night. Everybody's gone home. I must get in. Well, everybody but the mummy. What's she saying? Woody. Osapti and Hotep. What language is that? The language of ancient Egypt. Not heard on this earth for 2,000 years. And the name of a man unspoken since before the siege of Troy. And one would have to wonder, how does she know all of this? How does she know a language that's 2,000 years old? That was cool. (laughs) He just... And probably he's going to kill this guy. But how did you guess she was here? I discovered that she took a taxi from the hotel to the museum. I went there. The watchman said she had left in your car. Before you take her away... I must talk to you about something she said just now. Oh, wait till he gets a whiff of that. (laughs) Well, you'll be able to decode it and probably make the connection. So you did that? Yes. The 14 steps down and the unbroken seals were thrilling. But when we came to handle all her clothes and her jewels and her toilet things, you know they buried everything with them that they used in life. Well... When we came to unwrap the girl herself... How could you do that? Had to. Science, you know. 
Well, after we'd worked among her things... Science. It will blame science now. Well, it's part of the museum, right? They're not. It's not looting, according to them. It's archaeological savings. And she probably is related to the princess one way or the other. Yeah, yeah. So he died of shock. We find this in dead God's hand, Sir Joseph. He died of shock. <laughs> right. Yeah, and wait until they find what, what was in his hands, the scroll. <laughs> he probably connected it from 11 years ago. That was the scroll that was supposed to be in the treasure. The curse has struck her, and now through her, it will strike my son. Quiet. Frank, will you come to your father's study? Helen, I shall take you home presently. That's quite, quite interesting. So the curse has now struck him, and I'm assuming him falling for her so quickly wasn't also a coincidence. There must be something to it. What became of the mummy of Imhotep? Somebody stole it. Look here, Dr. Miller. What's the matter with Miss Grosvenor? You still think that that mummy was stolen, Sir Joseph? Somebody stole it. At least that's what his son has been told. That's the lie he made up. That's how the Oxford, you know, um, companion was straightjacketed. But you are of our blood. As to that, I am not mistaken. Yes. My mother was Egyptian. You must burn oh, the there scroll we go. of thought. There we go. My mother was Egyptian. She was the princess. A tragedy at the museum after you left. Tragedy? When I was there... When you were there, Miss Grosvenor? Yes, they told me I went there and tried to get in after it was closed. I don't remember, but... Helen, it is very late. Frank, will you please see Helen back That is hotel? probably confirmation on, on the mummy's part that, okay, she, she, she is who he was calling. I cannot read the writing of a period so remote. But you read the name of Anxion Harmon on that piece of pottery. That was of the 18th dynasty. These are pre-dynastic ideographs. The scroll from which this was copied was stolen ten years ago, together with the mummy of the high priest Imhotep. Most interesting. And now it's just so happened to be there. <laughs> They're trying to accuse him in a very smart way. Now tell that weak fool to get that scroll wherever it is and hand it to his Nubian servant. The Nubian? The ancient blood. So you have made him your slave. If I could get my hands on you, I'd break your dried flesh to pieces. Whoa. Wow. What a shot. Hmm. Okay, so I wonder on paper what his official powers are. Because he, at least so far what we've been presented with, he is a strong, strong person. As to me, do you really think so? And I welcomed it. But do you think I have a chance? Because I think she's the most one... Oh, but this is terrible at a time like this. Frank, I'm afraid... Will you go with me to her now? Yes. Then telephone her first not to leave the hotel. It's one thing to, you know, to grow up in a similar career path as your father, but one thing also to completely disregard clear evidence of this, this person's power, his stature, his... the the reason the coincidence why he's here and connection with um the female when we fight this creature 
We must ask protection from the forces of old that it defied. I'll give it to Helen. She's the one that needs protection. No, her life is not in danger. It is her soul. Should love for you come to her, he will try to destroy you. That amulet, the Egyptians believed, was a charm against evil sendings such as struck down your father. Well, in that case, every archaeologist should wear one. Probably in case of any sort of attack. You will not remember what I show you now. And yet I shall awaken memories of love and crime and death. That's a very, very interesting shot, you know, sort of transitioning into these memories that he says he's going to implant in her mind that she will for, she will forget certain things, but then she will be presented things of ancient past. My father's last farewell. I'm wondering at what point does he would does he commit the treason to the point where he needs to be buried alive and he gets sort of well buried underground if you will I dared the god's anger and stole it I stole back to thy tomb to bring thee back to life. I murmured the spell that raises the dead. They broke in upon me and found me doing an unholy thing. Well, his, his intentions were out of love. So we'll say that much. Okay, now that, that is pretty, pretty gruesome, pretty darn gruesome. A nameless grave, the slaves were killed so that none should know. The soldiers who killed them were also slain. So no friend could creep to the desert with funeral offerings for my condemned spirit. Wow. <laughs> that's quite the covert operation the slaves the slaves that were digging were also killed as long uh, as as well as an unmarked grave have i been asleep i had strange dreams dreams of ancient egypt i think there was someone like you in them my pool is sometimes troubled one sees strange fantasies in the water but they passed like dreams. Or they passed like dreams. Or they part of your life dreams. <laughs> his, his, well, he loves her. Just what happened? Try to remember, Helen. I don't want to remember. Besides, I don't see that it's any affair of yours. Oh, but it is. We know that you were with Art of Bay. Uh, not willingly, not voluntarily. You want me to call Dr. Miller? No. I hate him. Mr. Wemple, then? I'll die if I don't get away from him. No, Mr. It's Mr. killing Wemple. me, do you hear? Please, please. Now, Helen, you must not do this again. You're always so exhausted afterwards. Full-on mental breakdown. <laughs> she, she wants to stay, but she also has to leave. I do love you, Frank, and I'm trying to prove it. Because I'd rather die than live and lose you. But you're going to live. We're not going to lose each other. <laughs> two, two men trying to win the affection of this princess. While you were growing worse, we tried to find him and failed. The next time the call comes, go to him. <laughs> Use her as bait is, uh, in fact, what he's trying to say. 
I've given her some bromide. She's asleep now. I'll go to bed. All right. I'll wait here till Dr. Miller comes. Good night. Good night. And that's sharp thinking, unless the nurse already helped her escape. But yeah, that would have actually worked to give her the pendant so that she can't be controlled. Neptunior. Oh, he has to go back for the pendant and reach for it. Wow. Oh, wow. She just walks past his body with the pendant just lying on the ground. His close up. She's just, she's walking like Princess Leia. Uh, but what a sequence of shots. Look and wonder. Figure of myself. It is my coffin made by my father against my death. What mummy has usurped my eternal resting place? It is thy dead shell. I tried then to raise this body. I could raise it now. But it would be a mere thing that moved at my will without a soul. Oh, unless he can use her soul to, you know, sort of transport it to the mummy. If you will. If that can even be done. Thou shalt rise again. No. No, I'm alive. I'm young. I won't die. I loved you once, but now you belong with the dead. I am Angst and Armin, but I, I'm somebody else too. I loved you once, but now you belong to the dead. What a line. What a line. Ultimately, his power is, like, <laughs> it's beyond anybody's control. Unless they're wearing the pendant. Frank. Frank. She has gone to him. They must be in the museum. Now I know his horrible plan. He is going to kill her and make her a living mummy like himself. Well how, well, how lucky first thing that Frank is alive. I guess the, you know, the snatching of the pendant sort of broke the, the control momentarily. Frank! Frank! <laughs> Talk about arriving at the nick of time. Just as the knife was on her belly. Oh, are you kidding me? Isis actually protected her. Interesting. And he returned back into becoming a mummy. Helen. Helen. Come back. It's Frank. Come back. Interesting. Interesting. What a way to end. 
It's a universal picture. Hmm. The mummy. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, uh, probably I didn't receive that much more enjoyment as compared to Frankenstein or the Invisible Man or Wolfman. Um, based on the fact that, well, I number one, I don't know that much about ancient Egypt um, in general. Um, and I guess, you know, you sort of, there's a sort of um, Indiana Jones archaeological sort of pre um, prerequisite to really enjoying this film. Um, compared to in The Invisible Man, Frankenstein, you can just go into it and really, really enjoy it. Uh, I think both films are a little bit longer than this one. This seemed to to move along quite slowly, um, um, and it, it sort of ended quite abruptly for my taste. Um, but nevertheless, um, it would have been cool to have more Boris Karloff. Um, I, I, I was anticipating that he was going to have his mummy get up, if you will, um, in that 11 years, it would have been interesting to sort of see how he, you know, sort of got reacclimated to the new environment, um, and so on and so forth. But, you know, love conquers all love sort of pushes, pushes him to the ultimate chase after um, his woman, which was the ultimate sacrifice he did in ancient times and sort of what pushed him today. Um, he was quite smart about how he went about it, but just not quick enough. And yeah, um, I, 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 if I'm not mistaken, the trailer for this film says that it, it's, it's uh, like, I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm paraphrasing, but that it's a lot better than Frankenstein and has a lot more mystery and intrigue than Invisible Man. That I do not know. I beg to differ. Uh, the other two films are probably, um, in my in my books, they would be a lot more funner and more rewatchable. But you know, the good thing about it is Abbott and Costello meet the mummy, so that could very well be the next watch. Um, but yeah, until then, uh, let me know. Do you guys agree? Disagree? anything you can educate me on if I got anything wrong. Um, if there's any context you can add, um, do so in the comments below. And other than that, remain fresh and alive, guys. Take care. What's up, you cinephiles? Thank you very much for making it to the very end. Me and Big Willie don't take that for granted. We really appreciate you. Now, if you'd like to show your support to us, you know what you can do up here. You can smash that button, really just smash it. And you know, if you would like to check out some more content, they're all curated by days up over here and playlists. So you know what? We hope you're having a great day. Don't crumble and just continue to smile and be a good bastion of cinema.